What's going on YouTube? Applistic Dev here. Um, if you guys remember, a little while ago I gave you guys a Mac application tutorial on how to make a little application called Hide. So I got that application back here because I'm going to be showing some of you, um, showing you guys something uh, that kind of, well I'm going to relate it back to Hide, but it's more of just uh, an all around tip for your Mac application needs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, go ahead and start a Mac application. You can use the one I had before. But basically, you would, um, in order to do this, you would have already had to have an application. So what I'm going to do, as you can see in here, I don't have an icon. And as you can see right here, I got my icon, and it works the same exact way as the um, iPhone 4 or any of the iDevices do. You need to title it icon.png. And I'm going to assume that you guys want it to be um, transparent, which means it doesn't have like any background. It's like a solid image, so it's not like, just like white around it. But so I got that, uh, preferably it's supposed to be, I think, 500 by 500, but it's okay if it's off, 512 by 512, the same thing. Technically, it doesn't matter if you take a look at, like, all these, they don't look like perfect squares. But, um, either way, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into my project. And now what you're gonna realize, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Uh, I'm just gonna have to do one more thing, drag it to my resources. Alright, now it's there. Alright, perfect. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and build and run. If you guys have seen the other tutorial, you have seen how this app works. It's called Hide. Click Hide Applications. All of your applications that you're using just automatically hide. They go to the bottom of the screen. Click Unhide. They all go back to the same exact place in the which before. Click Hide or Quit. This application quits. But basically, to see your application, if you go up to Hide and About Hide, you can see there's the icon that I made right there. But if you take a look down at the bottom, I realize that the Hide application, the icon doesn't really show up right here. So that was a problem. So there are a couple of steps I have in completing that and making that work. I'm probably sure this most I'm almost positive this isn't the exact way to do it, but I found this awesome way to make sure that it works out smoothly, I guess you could say. So the first thing we want to do, go ahead and get this application out. I'm just gonna get all the info out. Now we can pretty much close it, but I'm gonna need this icon in a sec. Now what I want you to do is go onto this Safari, Firefox, whatever you're using, and you're gonna have to download an application called Candy Bar. And basically what Candy Bar is, you can use any of the pictures you have, and you can change that picture to be the icon for any image, for any application on your computer. So I'll give you a little demonstration in a sec, and I'll also put the link to download that in the description. But I already have it, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up Candy Bar. Now you'll see in a sec what I'm about to do. I'm about to use the image that I just made. Whoops. Yeah, I don't really care about updating. It's all good. Um... So what I'm going to be using, I'm going to turn this icon, I'm going to make this the icon for an app that I don't really use that much. Another problem I've realized, you can't just download, or you can't just make that app go to your hide. You have to make it go to something else first. I know this is really complicated, but you'll see in a second how it actually is going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open up all that applications, and I'm going to find one that I don't usually use that much. I'm going to drag my, my new icon, hide, right here. And as you can see, it's right here. Now, unfortunately, we just have to wait for this thing to load, and then we'll be all set. All right, sweet. Okay, now let's just go ahead and find an application that we don't use much. I mean, I don't even know what half of these things are, so the point is, why does it matter? I don't even know what shark is, so we're going to go ahead and use that. So what you want to do is you want to take your um, little hide button, and you want to drag it to wherever everything goes. I'm going to drag it to shark. Now, as you can see, it's all zoomed out, but trust me, that's not how it's going to look when it's ready. So now we're going to click Apply Icons. It'll take a minute. I might ask you to put in your password, but uh, that's definitely doable. I'm going to go ahead and put in my password, and then we should be all set. Okay, you're going to have to relaunch the dock. That won't be a problem or anything like that. Whoa, whoa I got all my things back up. Sorry about this, guys. Just some old stuff I've been working on. Close that. Whoa. I guess when I relaunched it, everything just loaded. Sorry about that, but now let's go ahead and open up Shark, because that's the uh, thing we used to change. I'm going to assume it's somewhere in my applications, but better yet, why don't I just search it? It might be easier. Let's hope this doesn't take too long. Okay, Shark. Now, as you can see, Shark now has my icon. Now, what you want to do is you want to get these two side by side. And I didn't really show you, but like I said before, if you tried to just drag this icon, the one back in candy bar, right to the hide, it would not work. Strange reasons, but that's just how it is. So now what I want you to do, I want you to click on this. I want you to be able to drag it around, and where I want you to drag it is right up top of this one. And now, as you can finally see, this icon is the hide, um, hide icon. Finally worked. I know that was a really long process, and I'm sure there are other ways to do it as well, but that's the only way I really know. And now if you'll see, if we go into here, let's go to build, 
the bug. And see, now you can see the icon. I know it was, it's so much different than it was before. Yeah, I got it right there, too. But here it is. Finally got the icon. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hit me up with some feedback. Love feedback. That's about it. Thanks, guys.